if lost in a whiteout, it is important to stay calm. If you have a smartphone with mapping or a GPS, then use this to get an accurate location and navigate from there. If you don't have any technology, or it's not functioning in the freezing conditions, you will need to use a map and compass to help you relocate. First look around and see if you can find any distinguishing features. Try and remember the ground you've already covered. Have you been walking uphill, downhill or across a slope? When was the last time you knew your exact location? Going through this process should give you a rough idea of where you might be, but potentially not the exact location. To help find an exact location, you need to work out what the ground is doing around and ahead of you. For example, if you've been walking on a northerly bearing, you'll already have an idea what the ground is doing to the south of you. Next, either leave a walking pole or your friend and walk further 50 metres on your bearing. Soak up the information about the terrain you've walked over. What lies ahead of you and side to side, then turn back and retrace your steps to your walking pole. At night or in complete darkness, you may have to do a back bearing. This involves turning your compass 180 degrees so that the white part of the needle overlays the red printed arrow in the compass. Now repeat this process on a westerly and easterly direction, always coming back to the start point. This should help build a big picture. Hopefully, with all that information, you should be able to have a good idea of where you are. Next, take a bearing to a big obvious feature to complete your relocation. Another method of relocation is to take a slope aspect. This will help you figure out what the ground is doing around you. I've just taken a bearing down the slope ahead of me, down the fall line, and now I can bring my compass onto my map to work out which slope I'm looking at. Now I know I'm in this area just here, so I'm going to lay my compass on my map with the red and black bezel lines running parallel to the blue northing lines on my map. When I took my bearing down the slope, the direction arrow on my compass base plate was facing directly down the slope. So the slope I'm on is running this way here, along the edge of my compass, downhill. So I can now move my compass around the map slowly and at whatever point the edge of my compass crosses the contour lines at 90 degrees, that would indicate that this matches the same slope aspect as what I'm standing on. This slope here is crossing 90 degrees, but it's the other way around to my direction arrow, so it can't be anywhere down this side of the hill. So that confirms I'm standing here looking down this slope. For more useful winter navigation videos, head to the Glenmore Lodge YouTube channel and you can click to subscribe.